day, friends. Maloa here. The new crafting traceries is all the talk of the town this week. In today's episode, what we're going to look at is exactly how this new mechanism works. The most important thing to know is that these are single-use recipes that drop from the reward track. So it's a very scarce resource, and you need to have an exact plan on how you're going to leverage it. In today's video, we're just going to walk you through the steps of everything you need to know in order to optimize your design so that you do not waste these recipes. I sat down with a couple of my close friends, Grotic J and Dog Yin, and we looked at this entire process of how to create the crafting traceries for a hunter's ideal build. So. Sit back and watch, and hopefully you'll learn something that can help you towards your own build. All right, so here's the selection box for the different heraldries. Um, now, there are different uh, recipes that you can actually execute once you've scribed it, um, but uh, I'm not able to see all of those. It's only going to show the, the first one in each one. Um, so here's outgoing healing modifier, uh, heraldry. Tactical mastery. So do they come in sets or are they... Sets. So you see these have like two-piece set bonus, but those are the same set bonuses that are available in the Word of Craft. Uh, okay. And some of those are the Word of Craft that you can just buy at the uh, Rivendell uh, Tracery Library. So although it says item level 450... That's its base level. It will not go into a uh, weapon slot unless it's uh, 450 plus. Okay. But... So you have to at least be that far along with your uh, LI reforging, but now we're up to 480. So it'll go up to 480 once you slot it in. Okay. So once you slot it, it changes. Right. And you can right. only get teal, you can't get gold? Uh, you can get gold if you crit the recipe whenever you do make it. And we'll, we'll see okay. that here. So what we're actually looking for here for our hunter is going to be the heraldry of the keen eagle. Um, now, it's, it's actually it's heraldry of precision recipe, but uh, we're going to make something different than eagle. Uh, it's going to be the uh, either scorpion or sparrow. I'm thinking it might be sparrow for extra vitality. But we'll look at that here in a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and select this. It's the precision. There are two types of recipes that will drop. The first one is a heraldry, <clears throat> and the next one is a word of craft. These have been compiled by Ginverse, so I use them here. If you want to check out more of his work, um, I will <clears throat> link his channel below. But you can see here that the heraldry, you have heraldry of the bear, owl, ox, sparrow, and so forth. They all have set bonuses. Or if you look here at the Word of Craft, um, you can see there's Defense, Anger, Shadow. These are slightly different from what you can just buy off the store. And we'll probably, for my hunter, be looking at Focus and we'll be looking at Tactics. The bonus is going to stay the same. Like that plus 3% critical hit chance bonus is going to be the same for all the recipe. What's going to change is going to be the actual her heraldry part, like the eagle, ox, uh, sparrow, serpent, that sort of thing is going to be what you select differently uh, in the selection part of the actual. Uh, I'll show you here in just a moment. So let me go ahead and select this. So this is now a tradable recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, craft one. And the one that we want for that is... Well, there's two of them. I actually already have the focus one, but the focus is the uh, bonus that has uh, 95% to all skill inductions, and the uh, gold one, I think, is 8%. We'll look at that here in a moment as well. But I'm not going to pick that here because I already have those. The other one that we want for the hunter is this plus 2.4% tactical crit multiplier. Okay. Makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that here. And... Heraldry types that you cannot get certain set types with. Okay. I should. I want to make sure that's clear. Because <laughs> it is somewhat limited. You can't just mix and match everything. 
So like you can do the healing set or the willpower set or the recovery set or the armor set is what you're saying. Yeah, so for a specific example, like with the heraldries, mm -hmm. there is no heraldry of the bear that has the tackment set. Mm -hmm. Heraldry of the bear can either do the outgoing healing or the incoming healing. Mm -hmm. Heraldry of the ox can do either the tackment or the fizzment, but you can't mix and match between them. Does that make sense? Yep. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the willpower craft set, right? There's the mm -hmm. heraldry of the ox that has a tactical mitt, but the heraldry mm -hmm. of the sparrow also have tactical mitt. But there's no heraldry of the owl that has tactical mitt. It doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. It's not an option. Okay. But could yeah. you mix, like, the heraldry of the ox with the heraldry of the sparrow? Because they're both willpower craft set? Technically, yes. You just wouldn't want to because one of them's might and one of them's agility. Yes, you could. You could if you wanted you to, but bonus. it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Correct. Okay. Exactly. It doesn't make sense because of class build. Okay. Exactly. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay, so what I've got here is two heraldry of precision recipes. Um, and those are made by Weaponsmith. And then I've got the two uh, Words of Craft Tactics recipes. And I'm going to crit one of them uh, for the legendary, uh, the, the gold version. And I'm going to purposely not crit the other so that I will get a teal. So the way I'm going to do that is just to start by getting the non-crit and then using the universal optional ingredient for the crit. So why would you want one gold and one teal? Why don't you want both hey, gold? I can show you. I can show you exactly why here. So you see these two traceries? They are roughly identical. These are the focus ones. I already have them made. Um, but if you look, they say unique use. So you can only use uh... one gold one and one teal one because they are unique and different, being different quality. Okay. So there's not actually a set bonus for those. You automatically get it just from having the thing initially, right? But it's Word of Craft, so... Right, so the two of them okay. do function as a pair, basically. Mm -hmm. And it gets you a total of 13% uh, induction. Okay. And it's going to be the same thing with this other Word of Craft, right? So if you see, it shows the uh, plus 2.4% tactical crit multiplier. I'm not sure what the crit version is. Let's actually find that out. 3.6. It's half as much more. So I just scribed the recipe. Now that's actually Scholar. And so all it takes is ancient script to actually do the crafting. And here is, yeah, the gold version. It shows 3.6. So how do you ensure that you're going to crit? You're going to use the universal option. Okay. That gives you 100%. Uh, I have seen it myself, but you can farm those by doing uh, turn-ins. Uh, yeah. The task turn-ins. Task turn-ins, yeah. We if people are specifically wanting to not crit one of the words of craft the best way that i'm aware of at the moment is to just use one of the very basic tools that you can get from a supplier or provisioner i forget which um to get you down to only five percent chance of critting as far as i'm aware that's the lowest possible chance to crit if you specifically want the teal version to stack with the gold that's a very good point to mention that I would not so have thought of that. <laughs> yeah. I mentioned that especially because <laughs> I actually did that and, and knew ahead of time about it. And I did two because I had two characters that wanted both. I did two and one of my 5% ones actually crit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I was actually going to start with doing the non-crit uh, Exactly. First, and then yeah. <laughs> use the guaranteed thing. Yes, good. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so here's where we can actually... Oh, this is Word of Craft, so it does not have a variant. It only has its base stats, right? Uh, tactical grip multiplier and critical rating. It's not ever going to have something like the uh, heraldries do. Mm -hmm. So we'll look at that here in a moment. Um, no set bonuses, it's just straight up. Think of it as it being its own set on its own by itself. Mm. 
So there is, uh, yeah, there's the teal version that I wanted. <coughs> and just checking that should guarantee me the gold. So what you're saying is, is now you can stack both of those onto the yeah. same weapon. Yeah, so instead of uh, just 3.6%, I'm getting another 24 added on top of that. How so, yeah. sure are you of that? It's I... been verified that it does work and that it's working as intended. So. Correct. Hmm. We got a message, or at least somebody posted a message from the forums by Orion, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, saying that it had been decided before he had arrived that these were such small bonuses that they were to be allowed to stack. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that is good to know. Because I, yep. I remember chatter earlier in this week that people were Correct. wondering about whether that was going to be legit or not. Correct. I had the same exact worry. Okay. So here's the flip side. So we're now doing heraldry. Here, I want to crit both. I won't, because they're not unique, right? You you want mm -hmm, the, mm -hmm. the best of them. So, um, and this is also where we can select different versions. So this is the Keen Eagle by default, and that's willpower and vitality. And here's Serpent, that's uh, agility and vitality. And Lion, but there is no Sparrow. So apparently I have to go with the Serpent for this. Such is life, I suppose. The stats are basically the same as a gold heraldry of the serpent. Okay. Except for the set bonus down there that adds plus 3% to crit hit chance. Okay. So it's the set bonus that everybody is after. That's the whole thing you gain with the crafted heraldry, yeah. Okay. And so now I just put these in my shared storage, and they're going to go on the hunter here shortly. And I will be running him through some paces of before and after parsing to see exactly what changes with different things being added. I hope you enjoyed that. I want to specifically thank Grotic, Dougie, and NJ for being part of the discussion and helping put this information together for the community. This show is possible because of your support and encouragement. Become a patron and get access to more amazing content and see your name here in the credits. Thanks for watching.